Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest news updates from around the world. Today, we're diving into a critical issue that's been plaguing the United States for decades, the state of its aging bridges. Just recently, tragedy struck in Baltimore as the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed after being struck by a massive cargo ship. This devastating event not only resulted in the collapse of the bridge, but also led to the disappearance of six construction workers who are now presumed dead. The aftermath of this disaster has reignited calls for urgent action to address the crumbling infrastructure of bridges across the nation. Rick Geddes, an infrastructure policy expert from Cornell University, sheds light on the critical issues highlighted by this tragic incident. Geddes says, this disaster reveals how exposed America's critical infrastructure is to sudden and devastating accidents as well as intentional destruction. Improved resilience should be on everyone's mind as aging infrastructure is rebuilt. Shockingly, this isn't an isolated incident. According to a report from the World Association for Waterborne Transport, between 1960 and 2015, there have been 35 major bridge collapses worldwide due to ship or barge collisions, with the United States accounting for a significant portion of these tragedies. So, just how safe are America's bridges? The numbers speak for themselves. About one in three U.S. bridges are in desperate need of repairs or replacement, according to the American Road and Transportation Builders Association. We spoke to a civil engineer who highlighted some of the reasons behind the deteriorating state of bridges in the U.S. Engineer says, many bridges were built during the peak interstate construction period, but factors such as extreme weather, increased vehicle traffic, and delayed maintenance have accelerated their deterioration. Despite the mandated national bridge inspections, the rate of deterioration is outpacing repair efforts. Bridges categorized as fair remain a concern, as they are just one inspection away from being downgraded. So, what can be done to address this pressing issue? Long-term investments and innovation are key. New technologies, materials, and construction methods offer promising solutions to improve the safety and longevity of bridges. Fortunately, there's hope on the horizon. The recent infrastructure bill has allocated significant funds towards repairing and modernizing the nation's infrastructure, including roads and bridges. Gettys emphasizes the importance of using this opportunity to rebuild American infrastructure in a smart way, incorporating new materials and designs to reduce the risk of future accidents. Getty says, we should consider incorporating sensors embedded in bridges that can communicate in real time with approaching ships, among other innovative solutions. The consequences of bridge collapses extend far beyond the immediate loss of life and infrastructure damage. They also have significant economic implications. When bridges fail, it disrupts transportation networks, causing delays in goods and services delivery, impacting businesses, and affecting local economies. We spoke to a resident of Baltimore affected by the bridge collapse who shared their perspective on the incident. Resident says, it's devastating to see such a tragedy unfold in our city. We rely on these bridges for our daily commute and to connect us with neighboring communities. Something needs to be done urgently to prevent similar incidents from happening in the future. The responsibility for addressing the state of the nation's bridges ultimately falls on the government. However, partisan politics and budget constraints have hindered progress in tackling this critical issue. We reached out to a policy analyst to get insights into the challenges facing policymakers in addressing bridge infrastructure. Analyst says, the debate over infrastructure funding has been ongoing for years, with little consensus on how to allocate resources effectively. It's essential for lawmakers to prioritize infrastructure investment and put aside political differences for the greater good. Beyond the structural integrity of bridges, ensuring public safety is paramount. With millions of Americans crossing bridges daily, the risk of accidents and potential disasters looms large. 
We spoke to an infrastructure expert who provided insights into the challenges posed by structurally deficient bridges. Expert, structurally deficient bridges pose a risk not only to public safety but also to the economy. Disruptions caused by bridge closures or collapses can have far-reaching consequences, affecting everything from transportation networks to supply chains. We sat down with a community leader to discuss how Baltimore is rallying together in the aftermath of the bridge collapse. Leader says, our community is resilient, and we will overcome this tragedy together. We're grateful for the outpouring of support from neighboring communities and organizations offering assistance. Together, we will rebuild and emerge stronger than ever. Now, let's delve deeper into the challenges facing America's bridge infrastructure. With over 222,000 bridge spans in need of repair and more than 76,000 bridges requiring attention, the scale of the problem is immense. Many of these bridges were built over half a century ago during the peak of interstate construction. While they were designed with a service life of approximately 50 years, the wear and tear over time, coupled with increased traffic and heavier vehicle loads, have accelerated their deterioration. A concerning aspect of this issue is the classification of bridges as structurally deficient. Despite being considered operational, these bridges require significant maintenance or close monitoring due to critical components being rated as poor or worse condition. While national bridge inspections are mandated by the federal government, the frequency of these inspections can vary, ranging from 12 to 48 months. However, the rate of deterioration often outpaces the rate of inspection and repair, leaving many bridges in a precarious state. Efforts to address the backlog of bridge repairs face significant challenges, including funding constraints and logistical hurdles. Despite the allocation of federal funds, the pace of repair projects remains sluggish, with many states failing to utilize available resources effectively. A transportation official shared insights into the complexities of prioritizing bridge repair projects and allocating resources effectively. Officer says, Balancing competing needs and priorities is a constant challenge for state transportation departments. While the urgency of bridge repairs is evident, limited resources necessitate careful planning and prioritization to maximize impact. Beyond traditional repair methods, there's a growing emphasis on innovation in bridge design and construction. Advances in technology, Materials and evaluation techniques offer promising solutions to improve the safety and longevity of bridges. Looking ahead, long-term solutions are essential to address the systemic issues plaguing America's bridge infrastructure. While immediate repairs are necessary to address urgent safety concerns, sustainable funding mechanisms and proactive maintenance strategies are critical for ensuring the resilience of our infrastructure. As we reflect on the tragic events in Baltimore, it's clear that urgent action is needed to address the state of America's aging bridges. Through investment, innovation, and proactive measures, we can ensure the safety and resilience of our infrastructure for generations to come. Thank you for joining us for this in-depth exploration of America's bridge infrastructure challenges. Be sure to subscribe for more insightful discussions and updates on critical issues facing our society. Until next time, take care and stay informed.